Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, look, I've been using the same uh, Dunlop Tortex 0.88 pick for, I don't know, 20 years or so since I saw James Hetfield use it back in the live ship concerts, you know. But um, just recently, I've, I'm just sick of wearing them out so fast. And uh, like doing Master of Puppets last week, I I, uh, I think I wore one down in a day just do, tracking all those guitars and things. So, and it was my last one. Um, so, going to the shop, I thought I'll you know I'll try different ones, and I've I've made picks, but um, yeah, look, I've just got a, a small selection right here that I've got hold of of picks that could be good for you know metal that I play and. I understand it's a personal, a very pretty personal uh, preference on what, how, how, you know, the size of your hands, how, how you hold your pick. Um, some people like the really little picks. I, I find they get lost. I've got quite big hands, big thumb. And um, so I need a little bit of pick there. But going to the guitar shop, I went down to my local Artie's where Gavin and uh, Clay look after me. Just a bit of a shout out to them. Um, yeah, I, I checked out, like, you got things like the these bass looking picks, like the Slayer, Kerry King pick. Um, I've even got a titanium one that I've made, if you can see that. I'll show them better on photos. Titanium one that's modelled off just a Tortex shape, but it's made out of the same 0.88 or, uh, what is it? I think 30, 32 thou or 0.88 of a millimeter. Um, you got the Tortex, like the Dave Mustaine, the yellow one. That's what he uses, 0.73. I find them pretty, um, pretty flexy and it's hard to get a lot of direct attack. Um, oh, John Petrucci, Jazz 3 pick, um, really interesting pick, it's a super polished tip on it, but um, when you hold this compared to the to the Dunlop Tortex, I find it's it's got like, like a slightly slippery feel to it, which doesn't, I don't really like a slippery feel. Um, that's, well, that's what I love about the Tortex, like these ones, that's, you know, the the standard one I've been using forever, the, the 0.88, but um, they've always had a really nice feel to them, but at the same time that that um, that grippy feel also grips the strings I find, like it's got a real sort of scrapey edge on the strings, which it's not a bad thing, you get used to it, it gives you a really good feel and excellent for pinch harmonics, but um, doing those really, really fast chuggers for like master of puppets or any of those songs i was finding that there are picks that do it a, a little bit more effortlessly um i've got here as well as uh, what are these the james hetfield black fangs i've got them in two different sizes here i wasn't sure which one i'd like the feel of I grabbed a uh, 1.14 and a 0.94, um, and they they've got that same sort of tortexy feel to them, but uh, a totally different, more pronounced edge, like a picky pick attack. So um, yeah, look, I'll I'll just run through and uh, see which ones I think are best for the style of metal that I play on the channel and what, what suits me but but just remember it's it's all personal preference um, I'm sure that there's going to be loads of you that say oh you should have the these picks or you know this is all I've got at the moment um, I'm willing to try others I would have liked to get like the Kirk Hammett one that's got the little it's a, a, a much thicker pick but um, I'll just try out these and we'll see, uh, I'll give you an honest rundown of what, what a standard uh, 
what I think is effortless for 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 rhythm work and for for solos. So um, cool. All right, I'm just going to go through them all. This is the Dave Mustaine one. We'll just. <laughs> Yeah, look, I find it, um, it's got a real even feel across the strings for playing, but I, I find it hard to dig in and really get definition when I want to. Um, it might, I, 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 for me, I think I'd, I'd just struggle using this pick to try and get really sharp, accurate attacks. Um, look, if Dave Mustaine uses it, he's a billion times better than me. Next one, just compared that, I've got the 0.88 Classic. <laughs> Next, I'll try. I'll go, actually, I'll go to the titanium one. I'll just try and see how that sounds. Sometimes I was getting a bit of a like a like a scratchy feel to the songs, but it definitely gives you. A, it, it's nice to hold on to, but it definitely when you strike through the strings, it punches through. Like it, it really is articulate. If if I can say that. picks in one so if you're wearing them out too fast well it just feels heavy like a bass pick um. <laughs> tips on it but it is actually really effortless for <laughs> Hetfield, the Black Fang, the 1.14. <laughs> Cool attack. 
attack on it. Um, I I don't feel I don't feel as fluent like doing solos on it. I didn't I didn't feel. It's really deliberate. Like it's when you when you strike, it'll it'll sound. You get a really great tone out of the strings, but um, for sort of relaxed playing, and you just want to play f fast, like with a flurry of notes, I was finding uh, the standard tour text was easier for that. Uh, whereas this one, I think if I'm like if I'm playing in Metallica rhythms, I think. This really is is perfect. Um. <laughs> Zach Wild pick here. This is essentially just a look. It feels like a a Dunlop tour text, but it's pretty thick. It's uh, probably about a one mil or so, a bit, little bit more than a one mil. <laughs> Tortex, the thicker ones actually are, are pretty good, the standard sort of Tortex. Um, easy to play, nothing hard about that, just a good solid pick. Um, and last, or not last, but the John Petrucci uh, Jazz 3, I think it's called. Um, it's smaller than all the others and it's slightly slippery, but shape that I'm used to but the actual attack edge is so smooth it's like butter um, and, and it makes you hold the pick so not much is really hanging out the bottom there's there's not much really showing <laughs> interested I was just dialed in a uh, like the like a Pantera Volga display power uh, amplitude setting here and that's just a really cool riff to test out pick I think the the uh, effing hostile but um while we're just here I, I, I'm not sure it was always a really hard riff to play but um <laughs> So while we're here, hopefully I can show you something as well that I picked up. But uh, I see a lot of people playing it wrong, or not wrong, like there's no wrong, it's people play it and it's cool how they play it, but the way that, um, the way it was played on the album, that rhythm is... Uh, <laughs> 
So after the you don't actually hit the string. It's a different riff, it's got a really cool dynamic to it, the way that you just play it. It's one of those riffs, I think it sounds harder than what it actually is to play once you get that. Um, I really like this pick, you can't go wrong with this. Uh, the John Petrucci ones, it's nice and thick. I don't have my vernier calipers on me, but I would say I guess it's it's probably closer to about 1.6. 1.5, 1.6 mil thick, and the uh, the last one I've got here to use is the James Hetfield Black Fang uh, in the 0.94. So look, this might be a good a good medium between the really heavy one for uh, for the really really firm sol um, rhythms, and it might be delicate enough that I can get through a few solos. So it. Just going back to the John Petrucci one again, I think um, that that really is like a standout pick. So you know, I look. I hope I could help today with with you all that. There's, there's great picks on the market and you don't, you know, 20 years ago this was just the standard uh, and I, I figured that was the, the only one for me but um, I've come to see that there, there really is great options and they're, they're not hard to uh, adjust to. I was always scared of, of changing, you know, I don't like change. Um, stay with what works but they wear out so fast, I was getting tired of that, so it's only a matter now of just playing with the picks that are comfortable and seeing how they wear and, and uh, but this JP one and the Kerry King um, and the Hetfield, uh, I prefer the point, the, the heavier pick, the 1.14 for, for heavy rhythms, but I don't think it's an all-rounder. I think it's a very deliberate pick that's, that's just got a really, uh, really good attack for a rhythm player. I don't, I'm not just saying that because James Hetfield's a rhythm player, I'm saying it because it's, it's how I feel using it. Um, like if I was to play some, some fairly quick solos and things, I'm not sure I'd feel comfortable um, playing with this, especially when I picked up the John Petrucci one and everything was effortless. Yeah, well, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, I hope I haven't wasted anyone's time and uh, have a great day. Bye.